to you. And let your face shine. Worship him. He deserves your worship. Thank you. David said, my lips will open and it will worship the Lord in words. And my tongue will always sing unto the most high God. For I know that it is Jehovah God that preserved my soul in the night season. Do you know how you sleep? Do you know how you wake up? Do you know how our soul goes out there? But because the Lord God is with you, the Lord God takes your soul out. And he said that the Lord God is the counsel of my soul. So he brings me good things. That's why here though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death that we fear no evil. For the Lord God is with us. Hallelujah. We will worship the Lord. Empty your mind. Empty, empty everything and let's worship the Lord. Together we'll worship the Lord better. Better better than even the instrument. Better. Yes, worship the Lord. Give him all that you have. He's our king. He's our king. He's our Lord. Oh yes. Oh yes. We thank you Jesus. We thank you O oh Lord. For the air that we breathe, O oh Lord, that David said that as long as and as much that I can breathe, O oh Lord, I will worship my maker, O oh Lord. I thank God that we can also breathe. I thank God that we can also breathe so we can worship him. Worship him. You can worship the true God. We are worshiping the true God. The one and one and one the only God that we are worshiping. The true God. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. The faithful God. The one that has all the wisdom. He said, I sit in a highly place. And they worship me because I am a holy God. So those that worship me, they worship me in holiness. With one accord, with one voice. They worship me because I am their God. From the rising of the sun to the going down, you are still the same God. We thank you, O oh Lord. We bless your holy name, O oh God. Father in heaven, how we love you. Let your name in all the earth. And may your kingdom be established in our praises. As your people declare your mighty words. Blessed be the Lord.
Amen. God is good. All the time. Amen. At this time, we're about to listen to the word of God. Before the word of God comes, we'll hear some ministration. Amen. You are worthy of our praise.
neighbor for another beautiful Sunday, Usher's beginning of the week, and uh, you're looking so gorgeous, as usual. The worship was powerful, the illustration was so great. So, what shall we say to the ministers of the gospel? God bless you all. Such an awesome job. Wonderful. You are going higher and higher and higher. And I, I know God will take you there. Praise the Lord. Can you be seated?
chose the Lord's great mercy and care for humanity. There were some events, circumstances, situations, and things that happened throughout the ministry of Jesus, and even after his death, things happened that he appeared to address them. He addressed those that happened when he was alive, and those that after he had died and resurrected. And today, he is doing it through the power of the Holy Spirit, correcting situations and helping situations, or helping with situations. I want to talk in reference to some characters that were very close and intimate to Jesus Christ. Among his own disciples, and even one person that was a habincha to him, a person who was a forerunner to him, a person who came to proclaim the way of the Lord and prepare the way of the Lord before his appearance. John the Baptist. What happened in their lives? Maybe it will show us something that we will also emulate or learn in our Christian life and journey. Pre and post Easter cautions or warnings by our Lord. Let us talk of John the Baptist. Take your holy books and turn with me to John 1. 32 through 34. We see John the Baptist whom they have asked, are you the one that we are expecting because Israel and the Jews were in great expectation of the Messiah. They were looking for the Messiah to come to, so that he would deliver them to them from the hands of the physical Romans the atrocities and the persecutions and the attacks of the Roman Emperor, they wanted liberty, so they felt he would come and be a political leader that would liberate them. And so when John came and was doing all that he was doing and talking like somebody with great force who would be able to deliver, the people sent it to the chief priests and all the, the, the leaders sent to him and asked, are you the, the one that we are expecting, John? And he brilliantly denied them. He said, no, I'm not. I'm not the one. But somebody is to come. He's coming pretty soon. And that one, if I'm not, if, I'm, I'm not qualified to unlace his shoe or even lace his shoes. He is coming, who is greater, I'm baptizing with water, but he will come and baptize you with the power of the Holy Spirit and fire. He is coming. I'm not. Now let us read the gospel. And John bore record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. Oh, so he describing somebody to come. That will carry the power and the mantle of the Messianic or Messiah. So John is now pointing a finger to somebody who is the Messiah. And he's saying that I saw him when the Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove and settled upon him. Move to the next. 33. And I knew him not. Actually, they were cousins. So John knew Jesus Christ very, very well. They were cousins. Mary and Elizabeth, they were close relation. And so they all came with a miraculous birth. Elizabeth, an old lady giving birth to John was a miracle. And Mary, who has never taken a man bringing forth to Jesus Christ, was another miracle. 
So these were miraculous children. They knew themselves. And they were from, from the same family. But here he says, I knew him not. You know why? He didn't expect that he would be the Messiah. He never knew that he's the Messiah. So when he said, I knew him not, I didn't know that he is even now the qualified child of God. The chosen one. I didn't know that. Until God that I served as a prophet told me something. And listen to what he said. I knew him not, but he that sent me. Who sent him? God. But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me. So before Jesus Christ came to the scene, God had told John the Baptist something about Jesus that he didn't know the person whom is going to even qualify for that description. So I didn't know. So I said, I didn't know. I didn't know him. Even though he is my cousin, I didn't know that he is the Messiah. But God, God, so the same said unto me, upon whom Thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remain on him the same as he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You remember the first verse? It said, The Spirit came as a hot a dove upon him. But God had already told him, The person that you see, the man that you see, that my spirit will come as a dove to set on him, and the dove will be there. That person is a chosen vessel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God made it so clear, abundantly clear to John, whom Jesus was. Go to the next verse. 34. And I saw, and I bear record to this, that this is a son of God. In fact, the description son of God means the Messiah. That's how they put it. A son, Jesus himself called himself son of man. Sometimes a son of God. Hallelujah. Eh? So that qualifies him to be the Messiah. So John knew him. So how come now, therefore, John will send two of his own disciples and go to Jesus Christ that he has described. He has seen the dove. God has told him if you see the dove come, the master come as a dove upon him. That is a chosen one. How therefore John will go? Luke 7, 18, 19. Hallelujah. Thank God, Jesus. What is it? Thank you. And the disciples of John showed him all these things. Go ahead. 19. And John called unto him, two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, I doubt he that should come, O oh Lord. What is happening here? Pre Easter caution. These things happened before Easter, right? In the course of Jesus' ministry. So, John sent from his own disciples, asking Jesus, Are thou he that should come, or we look for another? Was John confused? Was he from Augustine? Was he doubting? Was he skeptical? About Jesus? Was he suspicious? What had happened? What happened to John? Oh, John had been arrested and was in prison. And so, was it the result of his arrest? And then he was in the incarceration, therefore, he was desperate and he didn't know what to do. Has that blown his mind to know that Jesus Christ is the Messiah or something? See, sometimes we as believers we go to a situation like John and we become confused. It can happen to any man and it happened to John. Hallelujah. Eh? And when you come to that situation, what you have to do again, my word, neology. Go on your knees 
and cry to God. And they John did what beautiful thing. He sent to Jesus. He didn't sit down to get confused and then be casting the man because Jesus could not live in the Messiah. If he were to be the Messiah, he would have come here to release me or something because I'm his cousin and we are doing the same work. Why would I be confounded and then he's not coming to my aid and all that? Oh, Jesus Christ cannot be the Messiah. But glory be to God. He sent. He sent. Even though to me, was John doubtful about Jesus Christ Messiah? Why would he say, after he had himself had described this man, he has seen the door, he has seen the Holy Spirit come upon him as God has shown it. Why is he sending again? Praise the Lord. Move to 22. Then Jesus answered and said unto them, he said to the two disciples that John sent. You see, I said Jesus is so merciful and loving and caring. When you are in a confused situation, you are dreading the situation. Jesus will come to your aid. You see, John was in a predicament that he needed somebody to put him in shape. He almost living his faith. He is almost getting doubtful about Jesus Christ and his ministry. And so Jesus had to address the situation. Praise the Lord. So he said to his disciples, the two disciples that came, then Jesus answered and said to them, go your way and tell John what things ye have seen and heard. How that the blind see. The power of Jesus made the blind to see. Today I don't know who is blind. People say they have eyes. Yet yeah, they cannot see. Hello? So Jesus told the Pharisees, Oh, I, I, you, you say you, you, you see, I, 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 it will be better than we write because you have eyes that you do not see, so you have ears and you don't hear. Hallelujah. Yeah. Many believers profess to be believers, they have eyes and yet they do not see. Hello? They have ears and they do not hear. But in Shania, with ye. Those who have ears, let them hear. So also those who have eyes, let them see. But then, go and tell the brain are seen, and what the those who are lame are walking, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised. But if you go just this verse, the same chapter, if you go a little bit early, you will see that Jesus already made a, a, a girl resurrected. He lifted the girl from death. And we have seen all this. So go and tell John, if he is doubting that I am the Messiah, he knows that the Messiah, when he comes, these are things that he will do. Go and tell all that you are seeing. They are not fake. They are happening. Your own eyes are seeing it. It's happening all over the land. Go and tell John in prison. All these things are happening. The dead are raised. And the poor, the gospel, the power of the gospel is being preached to the poor. Those whose hearts are desirous of the world are being received. They are receiving the gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. 23. 23. We are moving on. Somebody to read, please. It says, oh, okay. oh, it's up to 22. No, he said it's not working. Okay, okay. That's okay. Somebody, to, okay, so it's there. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Oh, Lord Jesus. You see how Jesus corrected John? That's how Jesus put John right. He helped his unbelief. He helped his situation. When he was in quandary, when he was not knowing where to move, whether Jesus Christ is the real person that they are looking for or something, Jesus put him right, restored him, helped him. Have you forgotten Peter? Pre Easter, 
Peter denied Jesus, but Jesus warned him three times. He said, before the cock will crow uh, three times, Peter, you have denied me as your master and lord and savior. You do not know me anywhere. Jesus said, over my dead body, Peter. Oh, Peter. I'm going to see Peter. Over my dead body. How many are like Peter today? How many in Christendom deny Jesus Christ with our lifestyle? Our behaviors. When you are a Christian and you are prostituting, what do you think you are doing? Hey, tell me. Aren't you denying Jesus? Yes. That is fake? That his word is nonsense? When he said, Thou shalt be holy because I'm holy. And we say, Come on, take your holiness. Let me do my stuff. You are denying Jesus. When you drink, the soil of all liver. What do you think we are doing? When he says you should not drink, even though the Bible categorically not say that you should not drink, it says that if you drink, you mar your senses. So a king should not drink. Hallelujah. Eh? We deny Jesus with our lifestyle. Come to church and worship your God. And you say, Oh, my dead body. I will stay and watch television. Wow. Why the Bible says, Seek, forsake not, forsake not the fellowship of the brethren. You say, I will do it alone. No star. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We deny Jesus with our last side. I cannot say much, but the few that can come to my mind to say is what I'm saying. But you know what you are doing to deny Jesus. You know what is in your coffers. The skeleton in your coffers. You know it. And that you are denying Jesus. So Peter was had to be restored. And so when Jesus now resurrected, post. After he was resurrected, now he said, Peter, you love me. So Master, you know that I love you. Then feed my sheep. You will not go for the sheep, the, the, the fish in the sea. Feed my flock. Attend to my flock. Jesus again restored Peter. Pre and post. We are today being warned in several ways. What you are doing, take the caution of Jesus. Go to the Bible. Know what the Bible is saying. What is right and what is wrong. And do what is right. And your God will bless you. I didn't hear amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 24. 7 24. And when the messengers of John were depart, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. What went ye out unto the wilderness to see? And read shaking. You see, he knew John was a good boy. John was the, the actual prophet of God. So he now restored John and then lifted, exalted John before the eyes of the people. He never put him down because he was confused. Jesus will not put you down because you, are, you, you, you run away from him for a while. When you come, he will receive you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hey. You are, he's always ready to restore. He's always prepare his children. He doesn't cast. You see, that woman came, they brought a woman, and, and they were with their stones, and they were about to stone him. And the, and, and, and the people said, Oh, Master, because they wanted to address Jesus himself. Master, this woman, we caught her. Actually, we caught her right in the act of adultery. So if you caught man and a woman in adultery, where is the man? Why did you bring the woman in law? Just to get away to accuse Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. So Jesus tried writing. Yesterday you drank. Yesterday you gossiped. Yesterday you did this. And then they were looking at what Jesus was writing. And then this one put the stone down. This one put the stone down. They all found their fault in what Jesus wrote down there. And so Jesus looked at his eyes and said, Woman, what are your accusers? He said, They are not, I can't find them. He said, but Go and sin no more. I do not condemn you. Jesus will not condemn anybody. The pre and post caution, Easter caution, is to prepare his children for the kingdom. Yes. It's to get us ready for the kingdom. Not to condemn us, not to damn us. But if we believe. So now, let me end my gospel by it. Going to another great person that was very close to Jesus and yet post. 
Easter courtship came to him. Thomas. We all know Thomas. Hallelujah. Hey. Thomas. He has been with Jesus Christ all the days of his ministry. And Jesus has died. And Jesus came and appeared. John 20. John 20, 19. Jesus came and appeared to the disciples. And the chief priest and the scribe, okay. Then the same day at evening, yes, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut like that. Uh, today I asked my hand right to close our door. So like today, when the door was shut and we, the disciples are here, like we are here now. Nothing, no entrance, nothing. Suddenly, Jesus appeared. One man. Hallelujah. How many of you here are looking for that glorious body? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. How many here are looking for that glorious body that Jesus wore and came to the disciples? Now, when Mary Magdalene wanted to touch, she said, No, 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 Mary, not yet. I haven't shown this glorious body to my father. Let me go and show it to my father. When I come now, you can touch me. Hallelujah. How many here are looking for our number one? And I will get it number one. I will get before you anyway. Hallelujah. The glorious body. Jesus appeared in his doubles among them. And said, because of your doubts, look at my power. Even the Peter, Peter himself was also doubting. Mary came and told her, uh, I've seen that the God has been taken away. And when I was just deliberating over those issues, somebody called, Oh, Mary. And I knew the voice of my master. And I turned as a rabbi, teacher. I said, Mary, why are you crying? Go and tell my brothers, I am up. I am resurrected. I'm here. Mary ran with an arrogance to, to the people. And told Peter, Peter said, Well, you are a crazy woman. I know for you, you can always be crazy. After all, it is you that they cut the demons. How many of them seven demons out of you? You can always be crazy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Peter never believed. Even John, the loved one, they never believed. So when Jesus Christ appeared, then now my people, look at my palm, look at my ribs. Believe, doubt, double mindedness. Hallelujah. But this time, Thomas was not there because of time. Move down to 24. John 20, 24. But Thomas, one of the 12, called Didymus, Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. Go to 25. 25. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except many of us here, we want to see before we believe. We want to touch before we believe. We want to walk on before we believe. Except I see in his hands the print of the nails, so he knew that he was crucified. And those in the world who are saying that Jesus was never crucified, listen to Thomas, the doubt, the doubtful one. Even he who doubts accepted that Jesus Christ was nailed. Hallelujah. Eh? And put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side. I will not, emphasis, emphatic, I will not believe. Praise the Lord. I will not believe. <laughs> And many of us are like that. We are double-minded. We are doubtful. Doubting not only even the situation of Jesus Christ, but we doubt so many things in our own lives. Doubt, sometimes, when we doubt, we say we are inferior. When people doubt, we say they are, they, 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 they are, we are suspicious about them. But when, when people, we, we, are, we, are, we are suspicious about that. But all doubt, when you are suspicious of somebody, you are doubtful. When you don't believe your own self, you are left to, if you are inferior, you are doubtful. So that comes in many, many, many forms. So he said, I will, I will not believe. Move on. Go to 20, yeah, 26, go on. 
and after eight days, hallelujah, hey, praise the Lord, a week after, Jesus appeared to the, the ten, because Judas was not there, the ten. Now, Thomas was there the next week, the following week. He was now with the disciples, and Jesus appeared unto them. And listen to And after eight days again, the disciples were with him, the Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, and the doors were shut just as before, and stood in the midst of, and said, Peace unto them. 27 immediately because of time. 27. Then said to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, just as you said. Now put your finger in my palm. Put your hand in my side. And trust it there. And be not faithless. Be not faithless, but be believing. Hallelujah. Hey. All of us today, post Easter, those who doubt Jesus Christ, he is telling you today, be faithless. Don't be, I'm sorry, don't be what? Faithless. Don't be faithless, but believe in him. Believe in him. Don't be John, that will be corrected. Don't be Peter, that will be corrected. Don't be Thomas, that will be. Go to 28. 28. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. First time ever that one of the disciples should call Jesus Christ my God. Hitherto, nobody has called Jesus God. Nobody. Even though Jesus claimed to be God and he has shown them the way of God, nobody called him God until Thomas, now that he has been corrected, he has seen the thing in his own naked eyes, is now saying, oh, you are not only my Lord, but you are my God. And listen to Jesus, what he said, and then we end it. Go to the next one. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because you have seen me, it's now God that you have seen me. Thou blessed, blessed are they that have not seen. Hallelujah. And yet have what? Believed. Blessed are those in the world. Listen to me, the world. Blessed are those in the world who have not seen Jesus. People are saying all kind of things about Jesus, and you still stand to believe him. Blessed are you. Do you know why? Because eternity, the home of the Father, is your home. Sure. Bow down your heads and let us pray. If we are on, if we are hearing this voice, and this Jesus that we are talking about, we have not known him yet. But today you want to believe him, and you believe him. Wherever you are, pray this short prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you, thank you that I have heard about you today. That I have heard about you today. That you are the Son of God. That you are the Son of God. And yeah. even though Thomas doubted you, even though Thomas you doubted to him that indeed you are the Son of God, you put to him and he Jesus. called you my Lord you and my God. God. Today. I also, I also, like Thomas, like Thomas call, you call you my Lord my God, and my God. And my God. So, I have my so I have my own belief. And help me, O Lord. And help, and help, me, my, Lord. And help my name and help me written, written in the book, in the book of, life. of life. And when I also come to you, and when I also I'm a come to you, part in your, kingdom, in your kingdom. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 If you pray this prayer, you are born again. Have a believing church and attend. God bless you all. Amen. 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 God is good. What are we saying to our senior pastor? Again, God richly bless you. Again, we continue to pray that the Lord should relieve us, should heal us from all belief. It's one of the powerful tools the enemy uses to break us down. Even when we are healed, we're still doubting, wanting to see the, the, the sickness which we're into. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray. Father, we continue to pray that you, you, you heal us from unbelief. Ancient of this, may you heal us from unbelief. 
mighty man of battle, may you heal us from all pain. Again, some situations push us to the corner of unbelief, doubtfulness. We are praying and asking God that He knows our faith, He knows our strength. He should not let us be at the corner that will call for unbelief. Yet yeah, in John the Baptist, because of what he went through, he baptized Jesus Christ. He knows it all, but he still sent his messengers to ask that question. Let's pray that God will not take us to a point that we will, we will be doubtful of him. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray. Kapayan do re kapayan de li kapayan. Ye di ma fo ni aban ese. Ye bom paye ena no pei. Se e di e ye e di e be ko e ye en ti e di e ye kono ti bi e mu. Se ya wi e se ya mani e abrago mu adesua. Na mu tu ni susani e. May you, may you relieve us from whatever bondage of this end time world that we will not, never denounce you. We will not, we will not be double-minded over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. At this time, we are about to praise the Lord. I want you to prepare.